Hi home bakers, today I'm going to show you how I package decorated cupcakes for delivery. I want to make sure my cupcakes are secure so that nothing slides and ruins the icing during transport. To make an insert for my cupcakes, I'm going to need a piece of Bristol board, a ruler, something to write with, scissors, and something like an X-Acto knife. I'm going to place my Bristol board shiny side down so that all of my markings are on the matte side. That way, when I insert it later on, the shiny side will be showing. To cut my insert to size, I'm going to trace a rectangle about 1.5 inches or 3 centimeters bigger than my box. That way, when I fold the sides, it still fits snugly inside my cupcake box. I'm going to mark this measurement on the side and bottom of my Bristol board, and then I can place my box on the markings. I'm going to make sure my cupcake box is straight and evenly spaced. I'm going to trace a line all around the perimeter of the box. Now I have two sides measured and marked. To do my last two sides, I'm going to measure 1.5 inches or 3 centimeters away from the line I just drew. And now I can cut out my last two sides. I should be left with a rectangle slightly bigger than my takeout box. I'm going to cut a square out of each corner just slightly going past the lines I drew in the box. I'm using my fingertips as a guide and I'm going to fold each side in. I'm placing my fingertips just on the inside of the line I drew. I need it to be slightly smaller than the original box. That way it fits on the inside when I'm done. Use the ruler to make a clean, sharp fold on all four sides of the box. Once all four sides are done, I'm left with a raised insert that should fit snugly inside the takeout box. Next, I need to cut the inserts for my cupcakes. I'm going to grab my cupcake so I can use something slightly bigger than the bottom of my cupcakes to trace my circles. I've made big and small cupcakes, so I'm going to need to trace two different size circles. Now, on the bottom of my insert, I can take my circle and trace enough for each cupcake, making sure to leave enough space between each so that when my cupcakes are in, they aren't going to touch each other. Now, using something like an X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut about four slashes through the center of each circle. Make sure to press hard enough so that the holes will open up when you put the cupcakes in. To make it easier to fit your cupcakes in the holes, you can fold back the flaps to open up the circles before placing the insert in the cupcake box. Now that all the holes are cut, I'm going to place my insert inside the box. It should fit snugly and securely. And I'm ready to place all my decorated cupcakes inside the box. My cupcakes are all packed up and ready to go. Hopefully you found this helpful. Happy decorating! If you're a fan of deliciously simple vintage recipes and old-fashioned skills, then you'll want to check out this next video. Thanks for stopping by!